G'day everyone, it's Turbo Tristan. In today's video, we are restoring and painting the interior in my K-Swap Civic. Now, you guys have heard me say this many, many times before on the Evo Lancer, on Zach's car, on plenty of other cars. We've used it in Ronda. KBS, this stuff right here, is the best stuff you can possibly do to restoring, sealing, coating, and it's the easiest to use product that you can get on the market, I believe, to make everything look restored, brand new, fresh, seal it away from rust, and make a very, very durable surface. For the last six months, any time I've used this product, I've said on camera, KBS, please sponsor me. I really love your products. I want to use it for everything. Getting the KBS treatment and rust blasting. Then I'm going to KBS everything. The KBS, the same sort of thing I did with the KBS. Here you can see all of the other stuff ready to go back on. Nice KBS painted. KBS, guys, you need to sponsor me because I cannot sing the praises enough for KBS. The stuff is incredible. I'm gonna be using it forever from now on. Check this out. Brand new, refreshed KBS. Rust proof the whole car. KBS, just amazing stuff. Jump on KBS, get that stuff, guys. All KBS. Absolutely everywhere. Progress here with the KBS. These look absolutely amazing. This is the KBS. And after lots and lots of videos and pressuring and hassling and annoying them, they finally came around and they sponsored me for my Civic race car build. I pretty much begged them. But I contacted Adrian. He's in my old hometown, Wollongong. He is the boss of KBS sealant products. This is a chassis coder kit or chassis coder kit if you're from America. It's a three step kit. So this is the cleaner. This is step one. You basically mix this in with uh, water, wash everything and make sure there's no grease or oil or anything on the surface that you are gonna be rust treating. Next, use the rust blaster. This is a little bit acidic, so make sure you wear your gloves and all your safety gear. You just spray that on, leave it to sit for five or 10 minutes and wash it off with water and dilute it so that there's none of this residual chemical anywhere around. Then you can clean it one more time and then it's on to the KBS rust seal. KBS is extremely hard wearing and it's a self-leveling compound. You brush it on and then it levels out, covers everything perfectly. It goes such a long way. There's a one liter here. This is probably enough to do my entire interior of my car, thick with a brush painted on uh, by hand. The good guys at KBS have sent me two kits just in case. I'm gonna do the boot, I'm gonna do all around everywhere and make it nice and thick and nice and hard wearing so that when I get in and out of the car, I'm not gonna wear away the coating and it's gonna look good. It's all gonna be uniform and one color. So very, very stoked for that. But make sure you wear your protective gear. Last time I had black stuff all over my face. If you go back to the earlier Evo videos, you will see I got drips because I was doing it above my head on the hoist. It was dripping on me. Yeah, I thought it was like normal paint. You just wipe it off with a bit of thinners. Nope, not this stuff. It is super durable. We did all the control arms and I actually dropped a few off this bench, which is about a meter high straight onto concrete. It didn't chip or crack or anything. So stronger than powder coating. It's easier to do than powder coating. As long as you put a sheet down, it won't make as much mess as powder coating. So really, really good stuff. I cannot wait to get this in the car. The color we are going for is gray, Battleship gray. Uh, one thing to mention about this, and I went totally against Adrian's recommendation. This is not UV resistant. So if you do use a white or a gray or a silver, there is a chance it will go yellow in the sunlight. My car is gonna be in the shed 99% of its life and then on the track. Uh, so it's not gonna be stuck out in the sun in the heat rays going off with the UV. So he did warn me, he told me, don't do it, don't use this on the inside, don't use this anywhere it's gonna see direct sunlight. I told him, don't worry about it, mate. I know what I'm doing, just give me the gray stuff, which he did. Bloody legend, thanks so much Adrian, thanks KBS Australia. If it does go green in a few years time, I'm not too worried about it. It is a race car after all, and it was originally green inside anyway. But 
I don't think it will. We're gonna be out of the sunlight most of its life. So I've mixed up some AquaClean in a bucket and I went about 70-30 mix on it, a bit stronger because the interior of my car wasn't 100% clean. There was still a little bit of that tarry stuff on there, but let's go take a look at the before and then I'll show you the after. Alrighty, so here we have the before. All right, so if you wanna see what it looks like after, check this out. So it is super duper glossy, and that'll be pretty close to dry soon because I've just uh, painted around bits and pieces and gone and had some lunch, looking more and more like a race car. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the driver and passenger footwell, and I'm just gonna paint around all the stuff that's there at the moment. Uh, I'm not doing a full remove everything and go crazy on it. We've still got to put the cage in. And I've still got to go get some more dry ice. There's some sections that I'm considering um, putting some more dry ice on to clean them up a bit more. And part of me wants to, even though it's going to be a nightmare and wreck my life and I don't need to do it and I'm not even at that point, but I kind of want to tub the rear of the car and the front of the car. What do you guys reckon? Should I tub it? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to get back to work before it starts raining again. It's been a couple of days and everything is done in the car. I'm gonna show you that in just a moment, but I just wanna take another opportunity to mention this to you guys. Now, this is more for you guys in America and Europe with your super duper rusty cars. Man, the videos and pictures I see of your guys' builds, world-class top shelf builds, but the chassis and the suspension arms and all underneath the cars, unfortunately, they're pretty rusted. They're Pretty bad shape, pretty bad condition. It's from your cold climates and salting the roads and driving in the snow and all that sort of stuff. It's not your fault, but you can prevent that with the rust blast. Treat the rust, gets rid of all the surface rust, gets it back to a nice clean, true metal surface. And then you can coat it. Once you put this stuff on, it does not come off. And once it's dry, nothing gets underneath it. So you can't get rust underneath it coming through. So provided you treat it correctly, treat your rust correctly, put on the KBS, that is pretty much a time capsule till the end of history. Don't quote me on that. You get the picture, it works amazingly and it seals everything up. I cannot recommend it enough and I'll show you in just a moment. I'm so, so happy with the results. First, a quick shout out to Glenn Campos. Again, he is sponsoring this video. He bought something on Spool Up which is a billet bracket for a four port boost controller and also a four port boost controller for his Turbo Integra build. I'm gonna package that up for him and send that off very soon, but let's check out what he bought because I've got one in my Evo. So down here, he's got a billet Alloy Raceworks four port boost control solenoid bracket and he's got the four port Mac valve boost control solenoid. So he's gonna have something nice and neat set up just like this just like I do. And I can highly, highly recommend that because I use it in all my builds. There's one in the Civic just there as well. So grab your Raceworks and your GFB and TurboSmart gear on spoolup.com.au. Thanks again, Glenn. As I mentioned in one of the last videos, anyone that buys anything on the website and they leave me a message or a comment, if they want to send me a message that's PG, I can read it out on YouTube and give you guys a shout out for supporting me. So thank you to Glenn Legend. He just said, give me a shout out. So that's what I'm doing. Let's check out the build on the Civic. We've got all the guts out of it here. We're going to put it back in the car, but first let me show you how happy I am with everything over here. You ready? You ready to see it? You ready to see this over here? Just behind here, this awesome paint job inside the Civic. Now I've even painted in the door jams and yes, I did it with a brush and it's self leveling, nice and smooth. Uh, really, really nice. And it's super duper hard wearing. Now I've done all of the floor that I can see. Uh, I didn't go all the way right up there, but I've done all of this. Uh, some of this sound deadening I just painted over. We got 99% of it out. So uh, just for now, phase one, we can always remove it later and recoat it but everything is now coated in a nice gray. I've got to pull the windscreen out and sheet over the dash and I'll finish off those bits when I've got the windscreen out because we've got the new roof on its way from Piesa Hub. But check that out. I'm really, really stoked with how that turned out. It's gonna be fantastic with the black roll cage in there, which is coming soon in a couple of weeks. I've got to just re-tidy up the wiring 
the way I did it was I just painted around the wiring, let that dry for a day, come back, remove all the wiring out of the road and paint in the spots that I missed. And it's pretty darn awesome. I did the entire boot and this little bit of black stuff down there, which is some double-sided tape, which I've got to clean up. I'm going to move the battery to a more lower centralized location down there in the spare tire well. I didn't do right up in the corners. They've got some wax on there for like rust proofing already. The parcel tray was pretty hard to do with the window in. I got a couple of splodges on the window, but the good thing about this stuff, it's so hard. A little chip of that with a razor blade and it'll just crack right off and it won't harm anything on the windscreen. So I can still reuse that once I pull that out to get the roof done soon. It's such a good hard wearing, nice glossy. It's like a 2K paint job because of the gloss, gloss and the clear sort of finish. But yeah, let me know what you think. Now the color is a very, very light gray. So not quite Nardo gray, not quite silver, not quite battleship gray, but just a very, very light gray. KBS sell this in a silver. They sell it in a black and they sell it in a white. So the gray right in the middle. I think it's a good contrast. The dash and everything in the sedan is gray. So kind of matches. That's what I was going for anyway. But there we go. That's the second episode of the new build for Bois. And if you didn't watch the first one, that's why she's called Bois, which is the noise that it's going to make when it cracks VTEC with a new engine. If you haven't watched the last video, go back and watch it. If you haven't subscribed, go and subscribe means a lot, helps the channel grow. And I'm just doing a real big push on YouTube at the moment to get everything back and up and running and get back into regular content. I took a break for a little while and did a lot of cash jobs. Uh, I was fighting the Evos, wiring and waiting for my mates to come around and help me with the piping and stuff, do some alloy welding. As I mentioned before, I've got so much stuff to go into this Civic to turn it into a race car. And I cannot wait to show you. Big surprise next week. We're going to start chopping up the car and adding some aero to it, which is very exciting. So stick around for that. Don't forget to spool up, bring the boost, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.